nearly half of women in opposite-sex marriages are earning just as much or more than their husbands. But a new study by the Pew Research Center found that women who out-earn their spouses take on the bulk of child care and housework. In marriages where the wife is the primary earner, they spend an average of around six and a half hours a week on caregiving. That's compared to five hours a week by the husband. This is uh, fascinating stuff. CBS <laughs> News Money Watch Associate Managing Editor Amy Peakey joins us now. Amy, thanks for joining us. First off, I want to ask, walk us through what this study says about how much more time wives are spending on child care and housework compared to their husbands. Yeah, I mean, this study was really fascinating because it's looking not only at income, but how husbands and wives in opposite sex marriages are spending their time. And it found that even in marriages where women earn more than their husbands, they are spending more time on caregiving and household chores. In fact, um, breadwinning wives are, spend about 3.5 more hours per week on caregiving and household chores than their husbands. And by and far, husbands have more time to spend on leisure, sleep, even work if they want to do that, and, you know, other things besides household chores um, and caregiving. Um, and, you know, the impact, I, I talked with a, an expert about this, and the impact is that a lot of women feel they maybe aren't able to reach their earnings or professional potential because they have all these duties at home. One thing that was really fascinating was that there's only one type of relationship um, where there's not an overbalance with, with women doing more, and it's where women are the sole earners in their households. And in that case, the division of labor is actually equal. So it's not that the men in those households are doing more. They're actually just doing equal work with their wives who are earning all the income in their families. That is a really interesting point. Um, Amy, what does the study tell us about how many more women are out earning their husbands in recent years? Yeah, I mean, there's been a huge surge since the early 1970s in the share of women who are out earning their husbands, but it's still the minority of opposite sex marriages. It's about 16% of women who are breadwinners in these marriages. But that's a threefold increase since the early 1970s. And if you include marriages where women earn the same as their husbands, it's about half of all marriages. But still, the majority of marriages are the case where the husbands are earning more than their wives. So that still is. Um, the case today, but that's changing. I mean, we're seeing those numbers rapidly change, um, and it has changed tremendously since the early 1970s. It seems like in, in some cases, we're seeing a disparity here because women are, in some of these cases, the primary breadwinner at work and the primary caregiver at home. What are some of the reasons why we're seeing this increase in wives becoming the breadwinner while still taking on the bulk of the work at home? Doesn't seem right, Amy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are great questions. I mean, first of all, the increase in breadwinning wives and wives who are earning the same with their husbands are due to massive changes in our society. Um, women entering the uh, workforce since the 1960s and 70s in tremendous numbers. Women now are the majority of students on college campuses. And if you look at who are these breadwinning wives and, and equal earners in marriages, they're people who are college, women who are college educated. Um, they often have no children. They're married, but maybe have no children. So they don't yet have those, you know, caregiving duties to, to deal with. Um, but in terms of, you know, what it means for uh, marriages, it uh, often comes down to our entrenched gender perceptions. Um, in the Pew study looked at how do people value men's contributions versus women's contributions. And men's contributions are still largely focused on work and earnings, where women's are more on caregiving. So there's a lot of still expectations for men and women in marriages and how they're going to act and what kind of jobs they're going to do. That can be changed. I talked with an expert on this. That definitely can be changed, but it takes effort. It takes time and, you know, sometimes some struggle in marriages. It's not easy, um, she told me, but it can be done. All right. A lot to unpack there. Amy Peaky, thanks so much, Amy. Thank you.